Mm-hmm. So astrometry is the uh, area of astronomy that uh, is devoted to measure the uh, position and the movement of the stars in the sky. It's one of the oldest uh, science, uh, starting with uh, uh, Hipparchus, uh, two centuries before Christ. Uh, he was a Greek astronomer and uh, he was uh, one of the first to create uh, a um, star uh, catalog uh, just uh, using uh, his eyes. And, uh, Uh, Greek astronomers uh, uh, already had the idea of uh, measuring the distance of the stars using the uh, parallax angle. But uh, uh, it took, uh, mm, of course, they didn't have the instrument to do it, they just had the, the idea, and it actually took a long time uh, before astronomers uh, managed to do it. The, the real big, biggest improvement was going to space, uh, out of the Earth uh, atmosphere, because uh, uh, the... Uh, Uh, the reason for this uh, is uh, that the parallax angle for the closest stars, so where it's actually bigger, it's about the size uh, of the uh, blurring caused by the um, atmospheric uh, turbulence. Um, the first astrom- uh, astrometry uh, space mission was Hipparchus in, in the 90s, uh, and uh, uh, its aim indeed was to uh, measure the uh, brightness, the position and the uh, motion uh, of uh, uh, stars in our, in our galaxies. And the final catalog uh, uh, reached about uh, uh, 120,000 uh, uh, objects uh, uh, in, the, in the Milky Way, with a precision of a, a, a few uh, milliard seconds. Just uh, to explain what is a, a milliard second, is the size of a coin, uh, At a, a seen at a distance equal to the, the distance between uh, Washington and uh, Paris. Hipparchus was, uh, uh, in a way, the uh, father of Gaia, because uh, uh, Gaia used uh, the same uh, observational technique. Of course, Gaia has more power. Uh, there are more instruments on, on board. There, there are the two, low, uh, the two, two spectrograph, one high resolution, one low resolution, which allow us uh, to obtain information on the type of objects we are observing, Uh, and uh, um, also uh, the, the radial velocity, which uh, uh, tell us uh, uh, how the stars, how the objects move with respect uh, to us. Uh, the mission at the end will last almost uh, ten year, more than 10 years, and it will uh, uh, observe uh, 2 billion of stars, uh, uh, not only stars, but also uh, solar system objects and uh, galaxies. And uh, with a Uh, unprecedented uh, accuracy. Gaia is a very complex uh, uh, mission um, and so it requires a lot of people working on it. There is a, a consortium of scientists all across uh, Europe. Uh, it's uh, around uh, 300 people working on the Gaia data. Uh, there are different uh, uh, data processing centers, and one of these is uh, here in Cambridge, which I'm a uh, part of. And uh, what we are doing is uh, uh, processing the um, spectrophotometric uh, data coming from the low resolution spectrograph. Um, so, of course, uh, the, the data we received uh, from, uh, from the satellite uh, is not uh, uh, images, uh, it's uh, digital data that needs to be. Uh, Uh, processed. These are raw data, they need to be uh, processed, they need to be corrected by some effect, they need to be uh, calibrated, and uh, um, so uh, once we uh, uh, calculate, uh, we, we, we model the calibration and we apply the, the, this calibration to, to the data, uh, we uh, can put together uh, all the information we have from the data, uh, as I say, from the, the positions of the, of the stars uh, and the, the, their colors uh, and, um, and so on. And we can create uh, a visual map uh, of, the, of the Milky Way. For instance, this, uh, this, uh, this I- iconic now uh, uh, map of the Milky Way is made with the data. It's not a, it's not a real picture. So how do we measure the distance of the stars using the parallax angle? What is this parallax angle? So if this is uh, the, the Sun uh, and this is the Earth, uh, and the Earth uh, orbits around the Sun in one year, and uh, uh, we uh, are observing a certain stars here, and, uh, uh, and of course on the background there are more uh, distant stars here, 
And so um, when uh, the Earth is in this position, uh, the uh, relative, uh, uh, we can observe these stars with the stars in the background. So for instance, uh, in, for clarity here. Uh, after six months, uh, the Earth is here, and we can observe the same stars, but uh, with slightly different uh, stars in the background here. Actually, this is all exaggerated for the purpose of explaining angles are much uh, more, uh, much smaller. So, uh, so if uh, we do this and this. We know the distance between the Earth and the, and the Sun here. This is the distance between the stars and the Sun, which is the one that we want to uh, calculate. And this uh, is the angle that uh, we can measure here. It's the parallax angle. And so uh, solving the uh, triangle, we can uh, know in, indeed the distance between the Earth and the Sun and measuring the angle, we can solve the triangle and uh, calculate the distance between the uh, star and the Sun. Uh, Gaia is uh, uh, really a revolution for, uh, for astronomers. Uh, it, uh, uh, using Gaia data, astronomers were able to uh, discover many, many, many things in many fields, uh, from uh, um, stellar evolution to galactic dynamics uh, to uh, uh, many, many other things, I can't really name them all, but uh, I was uh, talking with a colleague uh, some time ago and he told me that uh, he doesn't even remember how it was uh, before Gaia when uh, distances weren't available. available. Now, now, I mean, people just go on the archive and uh, look for it, for it. And he also say that uh, 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 in a way, the, he, told, he told the students that uh, they are spoiled because uh, they have all this uh, uh, massive amount of data, of data available they can uh, work uh, on.